see. So hey guys, good morning. Um, you remember me telling you that I needed to get, um, oh, excellent, that I needed to get um, relays for the prop car, and I was thinking, crap, that's one more thing that I've got to buy. Well, and I'll give this tip to you guys too. Wrecking yards are like an excellent source of like Halloween parts for cheap. Um, I mean, just think about it. You've got your wiper motors, your door lock actuators, your power window motors, wiring, relays, and you can usually get the stuff for pretty dang cheap. So, but these relays right here, if you guys go to a wrecking yard, let me pull one of these out real quick. Let me take a look at them. They're real small, but they're also 12 volt relays. And I'm not sure if you guys know about relays or not. The awesome thing about them is, and the purpose of a relay is to have a low voltage switch on one side, so you could use like, uh, I don't know if you're if you're into electronics or not. Anyway, you switch it from the one side. On the other side of it, you can have a higher amperage, a higher current load on it. That's not going to ruin the primary side of the circuit, the side of the circuit that's switching the device. Anyway, relay, relays, excellent. And I know that I need at least three of them for the, uh, for the tail lights, a larger one that I don't have here because it's going to be uh, uh, for AC, for switching the fog machine. Um, but I believe that I'm also going to need some for uh, switching the uh, pneumatics when I get to that point on the prop car. So yeah, awesome stuff. First thing in the morning, I had this thought just this morning. It was actually kind of like a dream, I think. I don't remember. I actually went to bed early, but I woke up early too, so I didn't get any extra sleep. So anyway, awesome thing. I will catch you guys later. Go out to a wrecking yard, get some relays. All right. Catch you guys in a bit. Hey okay, guys, I'm off work and headed to Radio Shack. One of my second favorite stores next to Lowe's. And I want to look for some uh, circuit boards to see what I can find as far as... This feels weird. Vlogging with people around. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and find some circuit boards to uh, mount those relays to. See what kind of selection they have. And I might have to do uh, some etching. Making my own circuit board, which you guys might be interested in. But we'll find out here in a second. So I see circuit boards but they don't have any, this right here is a copper clad one. It's completely got copper on it. These are just pre-punched boards right there. And, and then you've got stuff like these that they're just a bunch of copper dots and you put the stuff on there and basically do it yourself. And this one here is $4. This will probably be the size I'm looking for and I can always cut it also. I'm also looking at getting these um, terminals also. And that way I can just connect the wires to this and not continuously have them on the boo box. But I don't know for sure. I've got some other styles. But it would almost be easier if I could find like a connector with uh, like 12 um, outputs on it. So I will continue my search. All right, guys. So I'm going to morph real quick. And I just did this kind of funny. This is what I'm like when I get off of work. And then I get home and I'm like... <laughs> I'm home. I'm off work. So anyway, yeah, that was kind of stupid. But anyway, um, the stuff that I just got through getting from Radio Shack, I got um, this board which is, I, I told you guys down there, that's the PCB, or, uh, yeah, PCB, which stands for Printed Circuit Board. And the whole thing's copper, and what you do is, and I'll probably go through this when I do it, use a Sharpie marker, and you draw on all of your traces, where your copper, where you want the traces for the copper to be. The difficult thing about this, and it really sucks, because it's hard to do, you have to think about this, because you don't mount your components on the top, you mount them from the other side so you can solder it. So you need to create a mirror image, which is really difficult to do sometimes, if, especially if you have like a really intricate, integrate, complicated uh, circuit pattern. 
And I also went and got some solder. And I never told you guys what kind of solder to use the other night. This is a 60-40 rosin core solder. Uh, you don't want to use acid solder because let's just say that this is acid and this eats the copper. So why are you going to use acid on copper? Bad idea. Uh, it also corrodes easier too if it's out in the environment, out in moisture or whatever. So the reason why I got these two items, which are just um, connectors, kind of uh, male and a female, because I don't want to keep the boo box out in the car, like off season or whatever, because it's an expensive piece of equipment and it's really wet here a lot of the time, so I don't want the moisture to get to it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to have just a real quick connect and disconnect for this relay board, which is going to hold these relays. And that way I can just take the boo box, pull it out of there when I'm not using it, and bring it inside so it'll be stored uh, in a nice dry environment. So, yes, off of work. Very happy. Awesome. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually get to this tonight, but I'll get to something including, yes, the vlog trivia results. And oh my gosh, this is like the greatest turnout ever. <sighs> and then I got some more to do on the door frame. But anyway, I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and I sleep all day. This is called laying down on the job. Is it time for siesta? Guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up for today. Um, and before I get too dizzy, I want to sit down. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have anything in of what I was just doing a couple minutes ago, cutting the frame of the door. Not too interesting, not Halloween, although it is scary if I don't make the right cut. So, anyway, we have some... Actually, no. Let me go back and give the shout-out of the night to the new subscriber, 3pistol7. Thank you for subscribing. I deeply appreciate it. Um... And let's see. All right, so I, I was gonna do a whole thing of, actually no, um, I'll just catch you guys tomorrow night. Um, I do have to get to bed and it's been a long day. So anyway, uh, happy haunting and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, you wanted vlog trivia, didn't you? Yeah, that didn't really get you, did it? Because you already looked at how much video was remaining and you're like, eh, I'm forced to the Yeah, okay, so vlog trivia, results. Here we go. And I'm really impressed and it's really awesome that I had these many responses to this. This is like the greatest turnout ever. So, awesome stuff. And the first one, two, three, four, five. The first five responses came like right after I put the video online and I'm like, huh, is this the same person with different accounts? And it's like, well, that wouldn't make any sense. It was just so awesome that you guys are all watching. So, I don't know what to say. That's just cool. but. I'm not going to stroke my ego anymore. Uh, I'll stroke yours. Thank you very much. Um, not Get that thought out of your head. That's bad. Okay, so without further ado, and before I dig myself a bigger hole, the bald squid. El numero uno, sir. Five points. Congratulations. Oh, and of course, the, the answer to the trivia was uh, Ice Road Truckers. Love that show. Lisa's hot. Okay, she's attractive. I don't want to have any thumbs down on the videos. I had a thumbs down on the video the other day. I couldn't believe it. I'm like looking at my phone at, at, at work and I've got like the five stars across it. And I'm like, cool, cool. And I look at the video like three of them ago and I'm like, what? Four stars? So somebody didn't like it, but they didn't po post a comment of why they didn't. So I can't change what I don't know. Anyway, no, it doesn't bother me. Not at all. So anyway, okay. Bald Squid, congratulations. Uh, five points. Chiller TV channel came in second. Came in second with uh, three points. Alternate account 417 was third with two points. Everybody beyond this gets one point apiece. So congratulations to In Order, Max Streve, Tyler Bennett fan, The Bloodshed Brothers, Dionysia 12, Joy Z Gal, The Apocalypse 13th, and GK Eagles 10. So that was like epic response so that's really cool so let me get out of here and go to the scoreboard are you guys ready for the scoreboard all right so here we go and I want to try and do this all in one breath so so the scoreboard is 
The Bloodshed Brothers are 42, The Apocalypse 13th at 34, GK Eagles 10 at 13, Dionysia 12 and 9, The Bald Squid at 6, Yard Hunter 5 at 5, Joy Zagal at 4, Terror Clowns at 3, Alternate Account 417 at 3, Chiller TV Channel at 3, Hauntoween 2, Max Streve 2, and Tyler Bennett Fan 1. <gasps> Don't ask me to do that again. I'm not sure I'd be able to, although I already cut this video because I screwed it up the first time. So, anyway, uh, you guys, I will say it now. Hopefully, I catch you tomorrow. And uh, happy haunting and uh, try to get some sleep.